you're probably aware that Anchor knows a thing or two about consumer electronics at this point. On this channel, in fact, we're big fans of their audio, smart home charging equipment and whatnot. And if you're looking for computing accessories, they have that too. I did an Anchor Work headphone video a few months back, really liked it. And today we're checking out two of their latest 2K resolution webcams, the B600 and the C200. The B stands for beast of a camera, while the C stands for compact. I made those things up, but actually they do reflect my ultimate impressions on these things. So without further ado, let's find out if these are worth replacing over your regular low res webcams. After these messages, let's do it. <laughs> You know what, let's start with the C200 and this thing retails for $70 and it's a compact 2K lens with autofocus. Plus, check this out, a really cool privacy aperture. You have to slide this slider across and what you get, it's like a camera shutter, doesn't it? It also turns on and off the camera so if you're signing out of your Zoom call or your meeting or whatever, you can do this little James Bond gun barrel outro, it's really cool. It also has a directional uh, voice pickup feature with background noise cancellation as well and has adjustable field of view between 65 degrees, 78 and 95, all controlled via the app. The build quality on this thing is pretty spot on. The seam lines are nice and tight, the plastic is pretty good. I definitely like the design on this thing, especially the front fascia. It kind of reminds me as a whole, like one of those modular action cams, doesn't it? Uh, the two mics flank the single LED in the middle right here that turns blue when it's connected or red when it's disconnected or when you're muted. I do wish the slider at the top here was a little bit stiffer because as it is, there's a little bit more free play than I would like. As you can see there, there's a slight rattle as well. Venting ports on both sides. At the back is a USB-C uh, connector port. For uh, the legs itself at the bottom here, you can connect it to a tripod if you like, which is really nice. Or if you have this on a monitor or a uh, lid, um, the legs are rubberized and the notch right here holds on to the front. Now, the B600 is the obvious big kahuna of the tube, and the price and feature set reflects that as well. $220 retail, 2K with autofocus lens, I think it's the same tech as the C200. But here we have smart auto exposure and color enhance as well as gain control on the image side, and the audio side we have auto noise and echo cancellation. Over here, we also have four mics on this device as opposed to two on the C200, and it's supported by speakers. Here you have external or internal built-in speakers with um, four watts altogether, two watts per side on, in this really nice fabric line uh, sound chamber. And as you can see here, we have a diffuse light bar with a touch slider right on the right side that you can control it here or in the app. And by the way, the light also serves as a privacy cover, not as cool as the C200, but when you flip this down, it turns off and turns back on when you flip it back up. And if you want physical controls also, there's a mute and also the light switch on the left and right side of the casing. In terms of build quality, there are some things going for the B600, like this fabric line external casing that goes all around. It's really nice. And there are some splashes of metal or metallic looking plastics that kind of ups the look a little bit compared to the all plastic build or all black build of the C200. It better be for $220 for crying out loud. The hinge on the light bar is nice and smooth and stiff at the same time, really good action. Everything just seems better built on this device. There are three ports at the back here. This is the power USB port that has that's connected to its own power adapter, which is the downside. This one is self-powered. Um, and this one is the data port, and this is a pass-through for charging another device if you want to. The leg, as you can see, is really nice and large, very generous to hold up this pretty heavy thing. And again, just like the C200, you can connect this to a tripod if you want to, or if you have this on a monitor or um, a laptop lid, it has a lot of rubberized legs right here to keep things steady and insecure. It's really nice. And also, by the way, this thing also re rotates on the X-axis as well. Nice and smooth too. To fully utilize and customize all the features of each of these webcams, you'll need a Windows or Mac OS version of the Anchorworks app that you see right here on the screen. All you have to do is create or sign into your current Anchor account and boom, this is the home screen you see, it's pure dark mode. And on the left right here, I want you to pay attention to these, the, the camera settings where you can change the resolution from 360 to 2K, uh, depending on your bandwidth of your network, environmental flicker, and also the field of view. So this field of view, it seems to be accomplished using digital zoom so let me go to 65 and then 78 and 95 wider angle um, and doesn't seem to affect image quality too much even at 65 degrees FOV now 
if the camera is placed in a fixed position like it is right here, but your subject is off screen or off center like this, all you have to do is go to this one where frame offset, offset and then you can use this toggle to just control and move your subject back into the middle for what it's worth. Um, image settings right here is the next tab down. Uh, without the built-in light, you might be fiddling with these more on the C200. And also for the C200, uh, you can change the mic pickup between narrow and wide field. Um, unique to the B600 is, let me go back up to uh, the camera settings right down. Let me turn off this one and go to solo frame right here. Uh, this acts more like a focus tracker for the main subject in the image. So if I move around, you see it kind of sort of just follows you using digital zoom as well. I tend to turn this off because as you can see, the effect is not very smooth and not very natural. And of course, uh, with the, we have the light module controls with the light bulb here for the bigger camera. You can change the temperature. Let me turn this on and you can see the image possibly like on my left here, the light coming from here. Uh, the, you can change the temperature or even the warmth of the temperature if you want it warm or cold and the brightness and as, as well as activate auto light adjustment. The light itself will adjust to based on ambient light around you. It is pretty smart right now. I turn it off because there's plenty of light going on here. Both of these models offer video quality for miles, I'll tell you what. The 2K resolution, for better or for worse, really helps your audience see almost every detail of your home or your office. And also, unfortunately, every single zit, double chin, wrinkle, or errant nose hair that you might have. So make sure you gussy yourself up before turning these suckers on. A little PSA right there. In dim situations, the adjustable light bar on the B600 helps a ton, but without it, both of these cams are able to boost the shadows up to a point, eventually giving way to a fair amount of noise. Okay, when, say, I sit with my back towards a really bright window, contrast can again be helped with the light bar on the B600. While the C200's contrast algorithm, yeah, unfortunately, it struggles a little bit keeping you in the shadows. Focus on both of these is mostly solid, though I notice that these don't seem to like it if there's very little separation between your subject and the background. So if it's a really short distance, there is some focus hunting or some blurriness. Now, it sounds like I just threw down a bunch of negatives, right? But let's not forget, in the world of webcams, and we're not talking about smartphone camera sensors or DSLRs here, the video quality and features on the C and B are a huge step up from pretty much any webcam you have on your desk right now. I can guarantee it. The mics and noise cancellation on both of these remind me of similar tech borrowed straight from the Soundcore division. My voice ends up having good intonation, warm bass, occasionally digitized when noise cancellation kicks in, especially in a noisy environment. This is an indoor test, but with lots of echoes. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is an indoor test with lots of echoes. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is an outdoor test with lots of traffic passing through. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This is an outdoor test with lots of traffic passing through right now. So testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay, let's be honest. Two watts is not very big for any kind of speaker. For example, laptop speakers average around the same per speaker. But here's the thing. Instead of being buried in a chassis under a keyboard, the four watt combined sound coming from the sound chamber of the B600 is actually pretty nice. And on top of that, it's also in line with your ears with the speaker on your display. Now, it's modeled, sure, but it has a nice, warm quality to it. I really like it. All right, now we're down to my top three dislikes. Camera support for the app, the Anchor Work app, is not available for Chromebooks, Linux, or even mobile. Currently, only Windows and Macs are covered, so if you want more customizable controls on those other platforms, you're kind of crap out of luck. 
The all-in-one features of the B600 is great and all, but just look at it, guys. With the light bar and the speakers and everything, it's really a whale. Did somebody just call me a whale? It's heavy, it's not very portable. So make sure you have this set up on a solid surface or a laptop lid that's not going anywhere. Otherwise, it will tip over. I had this on my 2-in-1 Chromebook with a much smoother lid action, as well as tested it on a MacBook Air. And the 600 decided to do backflips every single time. And speaking of the 600 again, I'd like to see the price of this thing come down as well. Maybe $150 would be more reasonable for most office budgets or if you're proposing this to your boss or for tax deduction considerations. Because as it is, the retail price is one tough nut to swallow. Needless to say, whichever you decide to get, these will up your video chat game big time. My personal pick though would be the smaller, more portable C200. I know, right? Surprise, surprise. For the similar picture clarity to the B600 as well as affordability. Although once you've experienced the mic pickup, the light bar and the built-in speaker of the B600, it's really hard to go back to your regular old plebeian low-res webcams. So with all that said, I'm giving a gear up score of 8.1 out of 10 to the B600 and for the C200, an 8.6 out of 10. If you have any questions about how I got to the final scores, feel free to comment down below. So thank you so much for checking out this video. And if you want to find out more about the cameras or buy them, the affiliate links are down below, so use them. And if you like to see more videos like this, Gear Up is all about tech and I like to make more for you to watch. Show us. Well, thank you so thank you so thank you so much for checking out this video and if you like to find out more or buy one of these cameras highlighted today the affiliate links are down below check them out and if you like to see more videos like this in general because gear up does tech videos of all kinds whatever i can get my hands on i need your support so thumbs up as much as you can subscribe down below and if you've done both tell your friends and your family to do the same yes yeah, spread the word get me to 50,000 subs visit me on patreon as well as use the super thanks button if you like to buy me a cup of coffee or tea or something and show your support that way and also before we end remember to do something loving and kind for somebody in the world because guess what guys if you haven't seen the news the world needs it more than ever and it starts with you i love y'all very much peace out